Addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions is exactly the same as addition and subtraction of fractions we did before. We find the LCM of the denominator, we express each fraction with the LCM as the denominator, and we add or subtract accordingly. We covered LCM of algebraic quantities in a separate video. See link below. Example 1. 4 over x minus 5 subtract 15 over x multiplied by x minus 5 subtract 3 over x. The LCM of x minus 5, x multiplied by x minus 5 and x is x multiplied by x minus 5. So we are going to express all three fractions as fractions over the LCM as fractions over x multiplied by x minus 5. We want the first fraction over x multiplied by x minus 5. So the denominator has been multiplied by x. So we have to multiply the numerator by x to keep the fraction equivalent. The second fraction is already over x multiplied by x minus 5. So we keep this fraction the same. And the third fraction is multiplied by x minus 5 in the denominator, so we multiply the numerator by x minus 5 as well. We add and subtract accordingly, and we expand the brackets. Minus 3 multiplied by x gives minus 3x, and minus 3 multiplied by minus 5 gives positive 15. Remember the distributive law. And then we add like terms. 4x subtract 3x is equal to 1x, and negative 15 added to positive 15 is equal to 0. So we get x over x multiplied by x minus 5. The x's cancel to remain with 1 over x minus 5. A second example, we have 3 over 2x minus 1, subtracting 2x over 4x squared minus 1. We need to recognize that 4x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares. So it is the same as 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1. Thus, the LCM of 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1 is 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1. So we want to represent both fractions as fractions over 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1, the LCM. We want the first fraction to be expressed as a fraction over 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1. This means multiplying the denominator by 2x plus 1. So we multiply the numerator by 2x plus 1 to keep the fraction equivalent. The second fraction is already over 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1, so we keep it the same. Both fractions are over the same denominator, so we can just add the numerator. Expand in brackets. 3 multiplied by 2x is equal to 6x. 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3 minus 2x. And we add like terms. 6x subtract 2x is equal to 4x, 4x plus 3. And remember that 2x minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 1 is the same as 4x squared minus 1. So this fraction can also be represented as 4x plus 3 over 4x squared minus 1. And the third and final example, we have x plus 2 over x plus 3 subtract x minus 2 over x minus 3. The LCM of x plus 3 and x minus 3 is x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. We would express the first fraction as a fraction over x plus 3, x minus 3, the LCM. To get this fraction, we multiply the original fraction by x minus 3, both the numerator and the denominator. The second fraction, we multiply by x plus 3 in the denominator, so we multiply by x plus 3 in the numerator as well. We have the same denominator for both fractions, so we add the numerator and we expand brackets. x multiplied by x is equal to x squared. x multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3x. Positive 2 multiplied by x is positive 2x. Positive 2 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6. And we're going to subtract the result of the other two brackets. So we're going to subtract x multiplied by x is equal to x squared. x multiplied by positive 3 is equal to positive 3x. Negative 2 multiplied by x is negative 2x, and negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 is negative 6. I'm going to expand the brackets. We have a negative multiplied by the term in brackets, which is the same as negative 1 multiplied by the term in brackets. So we get negative 1 multiplied by x squared is negative x squared, 
negative 1 multiplied by 3x is negative 3x, negative 1 multiplied by negative 2x is positive 2x, positive 6. And we simplify, x squared minus x squared is 0, negative 3x plus 2x is negative x, minus 3x is negative 4x, plus 2x is negative 2x, and negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So we mean with negative 2x over x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3. We know that x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 is the same as x squared minus 9. So this fraction can also be represented as negative 2x over x squared minus 9. And that's it for this video. I am Mr. Dubé. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.